Weekly Game Night presents Huang by Phalanx Games. Hello there, my name is Adam aka Weekly Game Night and let me welcome you to the game presentation and gameplay basics video of Huang, the revised version of the original game Yellow and Yangtze designed by Rainer Knizia. That new version is published by Phalanx Games and is launching on GameFound on February the 28th. You will find the link to the campaign in the description of this video. And now, let's see what Huang is all about. Huang takes us to the period of Warring States, a time of endless wars between seven rival states in ancient China. In this style placing game, up to five players will recreate that period. So expect a lot of optimization, clashes and ways to outsmart the other players. These Warring States are represented by connected tiles and leaders placed on the game board. In this turn-based game, players take their turns one by one until they run out of tiles. Each player will perform two actions per turn including placing leaders, placing tiles, inside riots, place pagodas, refresh tiles and of course there will be some combat. You will score different colored victory points by placing tiles, controlling pagodas and winning the wars and revolts. The winner will be the player who scores the highest in their lowest scoring color. To help with that, there is a special white color that provides wild victory points that can be used as any other color points. In this video, I am presenting the prototype of Huang's Deluxe Edition, so make sure you check out the campaign on GameFound as Phalanx team has prepared plenty of modules and additional content. And now, let's show off the game components. Huang is played on a game board that presents the part of Asia right in between the two rivers, Yangtze and Yellow. The game board is divided into hexagonal tiles on which you're gonna place tiles and leaders. On the game board you will also find 7 starting capitals and tile market area. Alright and now let's see the miniatures. Each faction has 5 leaders with the same Asian themed sculpt but a different standy color. These miniatures are looking cool and the quality definitely good for painting. These miniatures themselves are big enough to be easily distinguished on the board. Each leader has a double effect on and off the board. All the leaders have the ability to gather points when the tile of the same color is placed in their state. Additionally, yellow leader will get you the point if the leader of the color of the just placed tile is not present in the state. Off the board yellow leader adds plus one strength during the revolt, blue and green can be used instead of discarding a tile to perform established pagoda and inside peasant riot actions, red adds plus one strength to any state at war. And now let's take a look at this tile that you're gonna place. There are 5 colors of tiles and each has a different use both on and off the board, pretty much the same as the leaders. So yellow, governor tiles, are the only tiles that leaders can be placed adjacent to. Leaders get plus one strength during the revolt for each adjacent yellow tile and these can also be used to add strength while revolting when used from behind the screen. Blue Farmer tiles are the only tiles that can be placed on the rivers. Additionally, this is the only color that you can place multiple at once to score multiple points. When behind the screen, you can use this to incite peace and riots. Ah, one of my favorites, Green Trader tile. When placed, they allow you to buy one of the tiles from the market. And when behind the screen, you can discard two of these to establish Pagoda. Red is for soldiers. When war occurs, these tiles add plus one to the state they belong to. When behind the screen, you can use these tiles to add plus one strength to any of the states at war. White artisan tile, they have no special effect 
when placed on the board or behind the screen, but they provide white wild victory points vital to winning the game. Now let's take a look at the pagodas. Special miniatures that you can place on the board when there's a triad created of the tiles of the same color. Pagodas may yield you some additional victory points at the end of your turn, so it's vital to control them by the leader of the same color. And each pagoda comes with a different sculpt. Cool. Each of the factions also gets a special screen. You will keep your victory points and tiles hidden behind the screen at all times. And on the inside, there is quite sweet reference sheet for tiles, leaders and actions. Okay, enough about the components and now let me show you how super fast the game setup is. Setup of this game is blitz fast. First, place the game board in the middle of the table. Next, deal each player 5 faction miniatures, 6 random tiles and faction screen. Finally, place the 7 starting governor tiles on the capital fields and fill in the market. That's it, the whole setup for 4 players took me about 2 minutes. Not bad, right? And now, let's see the gameplay basics. Huang is a turn-based game. Players take their turns in a clockwise order. From a starting player, each will have to resolve two actions and all the players will resupply their tiles up to six after the current player's turn is over. Then it's the next player's turn and so on for the rest of the game until you run out of the tiles. There are five actions to choose from and each of the actions might be taken twice. Leader can be placed, moved or withdrawn from the map. At all times, leader has to be adjacent to at least one governor tile. If at any time two leaders of the same colors would be placed in a single state, that would start a conflict called revolt, which will be presented later on. Up next, placing a tile. You may choose to place a tile of any given color on the empty space of the map. Once placed, if there is a leader of the same color as that tile, that leader's owner will score one victory point of that color. Alternatively, if the leader of that color is not present, the yellow leader will receive that point. Tiles and leaders adjacent to each other forms a state and are all connected within that state. If you would connect two states with the same colored leaders, that would start a war but we'll get to the conflicts later on. There are two special tiles that when placed grants you additional effect. Green market tiles allows you to buy one tile from the market, while blue allows you to place additional blue tiles and score multiple victory points. And if you place a tile and that forms a triad, then you can build a pagoda. Just like I did conveniently here in the corner of the map. Alternatively, I could discard two green trader tiles or one green tile and green leader to establish pagoda. Pagodas might be essential to your final score, as at the end of the player's turn, if that player has a leader of the same color as Pagoda in any state, it will yield one victory point. And we can have some fun by inciting Peasant Riot. Peasant Riot is the great way to get rid of tiles and leaders. Simply discard two blue tiles or one blue tire and a leader and not only can you remove any tile from the map, but it might happen that you will also get rid of the nasty leader of your opponent as it has to be adjacent to at least one governor tile. Finally, players may replace any number of their current tiles with the new ones from the back. And now it's time for some fun, conflict. There are two types of conflicts in this game, revolts and wars. 
Rivals begin when two leaders of the same color are present in a single state. Rivals are always played between players controlling two conflicting leaders. First, you count the initial strength by counting number of yellow tiles adjacent to your leader. Here it's 1 versus 2. Next attacking then defending player might add yellow tiles from behind their screens and the yellow leader if it's off the board. Each of these counts as plus 1 strength. In this case final score is 4 versus 4 and as draws are resolved in favor of the defender, the defender wins. The winner gets one victory point and the losing player removes his leader from the board. War. War never changes. Ah, not this one. Wars. Wars begin when two pairs of the same colored leaders are present in the United States. And that may occur when player unites a state by placing a tile adjacent to two separate states like I did here. In this case, there are red and white conflicting leaders in the east and west state. Take notice though, that leaders of a single player might be present on both sides of the conflict. And the fun begins as all the players in the game take part in the war. First you count the initial strength by counting red tiles present in conflicting states. In this case it's 5 against 0. Next, starting with the player to the left of the one that started the war, each player may add red tiles from behind their screen and red leaders to add plus 1 strength to any of the states. The first player has added plus 3 strength to the west state by adding his leader and 2 red tiles. And that leaves us with the 8 strength for the west state. But the second player has added 3 red tiles to the east state, while the third player adds his leader and additional 3 red tiles to the strength of the east state. And finally, the attacking player adds plus two red tiles to the strength of the East State. And the final score is nine versus eight for the East State. And these leaders are victorious. All the losing leaders are removed and winning leaders controllers gains one victory point for each of the winning conflicting leader. Okay, that's all you need to know to play Huang. I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel or leave a like underneath the video. Thank you very much and make sure to check out Huang on GameFound. Thanks for watching and bye bye!